There are more labor problems at the state level. Union leaders that represent thousands of state workers are saying the givebacks the governor wants are not fair, and they're suggesting another way to bail out the state. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis is live in the Hartford Newsroom with the latest on this. Mark? Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. It appears tonight that the new governor is on a collision course with the state labor unions that worked so hard to get him elected. The labor leaders that represent most of the state's approximately 45,000 state employees say that the state budget crisis is not their fault. So why should they be asked to shoulder so much of the bailout? If we use the one billion as an example of a number that we want to talk about, then that's the equivalent of $22,200 per state worker that we have to find a way to come up with. With the state payroll at approximately $4 billion a year, the labor leaders say state employees are being asked to pay a 25% surcharge to bail out the state. The main cause of our budget crisis is not a runaway spending. It's insufficient revenue. State labor leaders believe Malloy's tax plan does not go far enough in upping the taxes on the wealthy. We'll be taxing the very wealthy who, with a 0.2% increase in their taxes, a millionaire pays $2,000, while state workers at an average pay of $50,000 will be paying $22,200. So I think there's a little bit of room for discussion on this whole thing. That's the argument the unions will be using against Malloy's demands. He says he wants to keep our income tax rates on the wealthy competitive with New York to avoid having rich people leaving the state, which would result in even further revenue losses. The financial realities of the situation in which we find ourselves are in fact desperate. We are taking a very different course uh, than other states. I'm hopeful it'll be successful. Uh, I, I hope for the good of the state of Connecticut. Going after state employees for more concessions is not going to add one job. Going after prevailing rate or binding arbitration is not going to add one job. So far, Leo Canty, the spokesman there for the State Labor Union's coalition, tells me that there have been no real discussions of any substance with the Malloy administration about givebacks. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.